This is number 17 of the first test. And what they're asking is 60% of what number is equal to 30? So what they're asking you to do is they're saying that 30 represents 60% of a larger number, a bigger number. So they're asking you to set up a proportion here. So let's set it up this way. So we're saying that 60 over 100. Now let me explain what that means. That 60% equals 60 over 100. And the way I want you to think about this is if this was a dollar bill, and you had 60% of a dollar bill, that would go to 60 cents. So this is the fraction, this is the decimal conversion of this. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna find out saying that right now we have a number that is 30 and we don't know what the total is. So this is the unknown. So when you have this kind of setup, this type of relationship, this type of proportion, this ratio, we can use something called cross multiply. And the way you do that is you go with the two corners that you see and you multiply, and then you divide by the last number. So let me say that again. So we have this number, which we'll call A, this one we'll call B, this one we'll call C, and this one we'll call D. A, B, C, D. D, we don't know, so we wanna find out what D is. So this is the way you can set this up. We cross multiply, so we go 330 times 100. So we do C times B, and then we're gonna divide by 60, which is A, and that will give us the unknown, which is D. So A, B, C, D. Now, these can change. You might not know this one, you might not know this one, and then you would flip it around. So you take the two that you know and you multiply them. In this case, it's B and C. So you can multiply those two, and then the one that's left is the one you divide by. So we have C times B, so 30 times 100. And then we're gonna divide that by 60 equals we don't know. So that's what we're trying to find, is we're trying to find this unknown value over here. So 30 times 100 is 3,000, because three times one is three, and then I count the zeros. One, two, three, I got a little excited, so I started doing it. So I just count the zeros, and I go one, two, three, and I had three zeros at the end. So 3,000. Now watch how I do this. I take this and that goes outside of the house. Now, I'm just gonna be nice. I'm gonna put the, the, the times tables in here for you for the 60s. So 60 times one is 60, 120, 180, 240, 300, and I go, oh, maybe I'm done here. So 60 times one, 60 times two, 60 times three, 60 times four, 60 times five. That's too small, so I go over here and I go, oh, 300, I can put the five there. 300 minus 300 is zero, so I bring that zero up and I'm done. So then I see, oh, 50 is our final answer. I look over here, too small, not right, boom, D. So the proportion would be 60 to 100 equals 30 over 50.
And that's another way you can think about it, by setting up this proportion, setting up that ratio, setting up that fraction.